it is now time for the big one. The winner's finals of the two current, just most iconic Mortal Kombat players of our time. And I can't wait for us to get stuck in. It's going to be a good one. It's uh, the run back on, run back on, run back on, run back times at 1,000. But welcoming to the stage now, Sonic Fox Ninja Killer. Let them hear your support here in the crowd. This is for Grand Finals winner's side. Will we see the repeat champion, Sonic Fox, get one step closer to that first place? Or will Ninja be waiting? So I feel like this crowd so far, you've been pretty active for these players. I heard that as both of them walked in. Let's give it some of this. If your money's on Ninja Killer, make some noise right now. What about Fox? We got your love for Sonic Fox. I don't know about you, but that sounded dead even. That sounded dead even. The Sonic Fox one was just a higher pitch. I think this is a straight up 50-50. That's, That's cheating. That is cheating. A different pitch may be more memorable. So However, it let's could jump in. Very well be Johnny Cage versus Peacemaker. Uh, we, we saw Fox play the Johnny against Mighty Unjust before. We have seen Fox with a few answers to Peacemaker at Combo Breaker, um, but we know Fox has been so vocal about playing Johnny here at the finals. We saw it right at the beginning against Face All, which once again, I forgot originally because it was so early in the, in the tournament, but looked really good. Uh, and now, most recently, still bringing it out here today. Now, I don't know if that means it's a definitive pick, but definitely could be. Well, look, I think statistically, it's likely going to be Peacemaker versus Johnny Cage. But with these two, it can be a bit hard to predict because Sonic Fox can tell you stone-faced, I am using this character, maybe this character, that's it. And then in the top eight, some weird stuff happens. Now, that's not always going to happen here. Fox is very, very committed to proving that they are number one. But so is Ninja Killer. The safest bet is going to be the characters we've seen from them all tournament long. But I always well, have that 1% of my brain that thinks we might see something else. But again, it's th this is a matchup we saw at Combo Breaker, and Fox did not use Johnny Cage to win it there. I, I think Fox's kind of tried and true main character has been the Sindel through the vast majority of matchups, and it seems to take a significant kind of pick to make Fox not bring out the Sindel. I, again, you know, to, to, to remember, at Comma Break, it was a lot of the Sindel Sub-Zero cameo against Peacemaker, but uh, we haven't seen that this weekend at all, because truthfully, Sonic Fox hasn't played against Peacemaker that much so far in this bracket, but as we get through to the later stages, it could definitely change. This is such an iconic moment, and this is not even Grand Finals, but we are now in our official top four. So from this point, the money that these players have earned is absolutely insane for a weekend of Mortal Kombat. The question is, who is going to get that gigantic 70,000 for first place? I hear the chameleon. I think it is. Making movies. I can, no, there's, there's, there's be a, a button check. Button check for sure. I see smoke in the character select, so this is absolutely a button check. 1,000%. But I do wonder what the people at home are thinking of this matchup, because Ninja Killer and Sonic Fox, two absolute superstars of modern Mortal Kombat. Both very prominent tournament players, as you know, but they do make a lot of content. Both of them do a lot of live streaming on various platforms. So if this is your first time watching competitive Mortal Kombat, these two are absolutely two players to keep an eye on. And if you want to join the conversation at home on social media, as you can see before you, the hashtag Final Combat 2024. I've never crossed Okay, the it is star. going to be the I Johnny Cage you... versus Peacemaker. This is what we predicted. It has been Sonic Fox's go-to today at the very least. Here we are, winners finals, let's get it. Sonic Fox versus Ninja Killer. Oh, what an instant attempt at the raw launch from Sonic Fox, and Ninja calls it out. Standing to something that Ninja Killer, the interruption already going in for that low sweep, and Sonic Fox with the psychic forward jump, somewhat equalizing this health. A nice little throw tech there from Ninja Killer. Oh, no oh. eagerly for you, my friend. Eat this combo. Oh, Breaker versus Breaker. What? Breaker into a regular Shadow Kick? Fox, you are Sonic crazy. <laughs> That's a very Sonic Fox thing to do, though, right? That, that sheer confidence. Plus frames. Oh, my goodness. 
Punish, Fatal Blow, that's gonna connect. You think I give a damn about Kano? Eat this, Fatal Blow, and definitely gonna be the round win. You ain't surviving this. But that is the dynamic between calling Kano, and one of the things that makes him such a scary cameo is Knives come out on a set time, but he throws two of them. Kano Ball can be held and vary the time, but if you make the call out of, you know, what you're doing into Kano, that isn't real, I can press. Or I think you're going to delay, so I'm going to press and hit you both. It can be difficult to find that situation, but the reward is so high when you do. And Fox, one of the things that's always made Fox so strong is the ability to say, you are going to do this specific thing and I'm going to beat it. Wait, tries to throw in shade? All right. Sonic Fox with a kitchen sink plays. Wait a minute. That what? was the throw tech into arm break. We've just eliminated the threat of grabs for... Sonic you know what? I've never seen the move used in a real match. I can't remember how long. I mean, considering Johnny is one of the most common characters we see competitively, I forgot he could do that. It's been so long. And so you might be wondering, what was it? If he takes your throw, he can do an input to do some damage to you, break your arm, and then stop you from throwing for some time. That amount of time escapes me because it's been a while. It's but... almost a little bit embarrassing that we don't know, but <laughs> it's, 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 no one does it. Seen that. No one does it. It's just not a thing you see, but Sonic Fox bringing it out, making the total most of this character and a game one already for Sonic Fox. Right, game one on the board for the Fox. But it will be Ninja Killer, the first hit bonus, spending our first bar of meter on that EX Torpedo, so trading one bar for another, a fair trade. Sonic Fox with punished. That meterless combo off Sonic Boom. A knockdown into decent damage. We go back to the range though. That's kind of what we're in the mind for. The neutral duck though into the shadow kick punish on EX Gunshot. Another big jump. Staying a little bit safer. Down one gets eaten up by that sweep, however. Okay, punish. good. Good check. We've seen a lot of this. Oh, but that's, that is what Fox was looking for earlier on, right at the beginning of game one. There's that meaty glaive. It's going to put on the pressure. Do you risk doing a wake-up attack? Do you sit there and take the plus frames? Fatal blow is real. Might not even need it in this situation. That is not... That cannot uh -oh. be what you wanted. No, it but, can't yeah. be because he's still out there. You can't break. Yeah, that was a perfect punish from Sonic Fox. It's very rare that you see Kano Eye Laser used on purpose. I mean, he's one of the best cameos, and Kano Ball and Kano Knives are fantastic. That Eye Laser is one of the weaker moves in the game. It's very unsafe. But we actually see it quite a bit from Ninja, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's got some secret tech with it, but we definitely see it more than you would expect, especially in that kind of situation. It didn't pay out at the very least. Oh, raw overhead. Everything is working right now, and that is the most dangerous form of momentum. It feels like you are incapable of making a mistake. The neutral duck into the whip punish on that forward one now. A knockdown. Take some extra damage. Probably wanted the same side there, but with such a light bleed, maybe not that much of a big deal. Oh, wow, that actually just crossed up. Ninja had to respect it. It's a gravity. Eagly. Jump kick Kano Ball. All of this doing respectable chip, but you're going to need so much more than that if you want to hope of winning this oh, round. Back to back. Throw tech, but eat another low poke. These sweeps have just been so good so far. That's even more chip damage. The punish on the down one, that's really bad. Lovely crouch though from Ninja Killer. Has got to make the most out of this. And of course, that's why we're now seeing a fatal blow. It's going to be a good chunk of damage, but still a bad spot for Ninja to be in. That's not a lot of health remaining. A single Shadow Kick will do it. Chip damage from Glaive. Kiss off. It's a we are bar just, as well. just about to build and have built now two bars of meter. Oh, but it doesn't matter. I was going to talk about Last Breath or something, but who cares about that now? Sonic Fox is 2-0 up. One game away from a dominant grand finals winner's side position. And if that happens, Fox is going to be very hard to beat. Well, a grand finals on the winner's side would get you minimum second, which is $36,000 of the final combat prize pool. So Fox potentially one game away from securing that. But Ninja, he's been here before. He's no stranger to reverse three zeros when the opportunity arises. But we have to see it. What Sonic a Fox punish. Again, the iconic Lord Johnny Cage. That launcher goes all the way back to minimum Mortal Kombat 9. Ten years old, that button is, and still going. Wake up, Glaive. The confidence know that Ninja Killer isn't close enough to enforce a meaty. Lovely little pickup there, though, from the torpedo. It's definitely a different style of matchup, though. We're seeing Sonic Fox and Ninja 
with the Johnny Cage Peacemaker. Ninja normally playing some relatively aggressive characters this kind of match. And that's going to be a punish again, taking the fatal blow before the break can be used. But think back to it, right? In MK11, what was it? It was like Liu Kang and, and the Joker most of the time. Liu Kang was usually the more aggressive of the two. And Joker was the one playing for that kind of like mid-screen distance. Fast forward to MK1, the shoe's on the other foot. Fox went in for a big sort of risk reward situation. Should that overhead have landed, we would have been match point Sonic Fox. But them's the risk you take in that situation. The meaty mid does manage to land though. May as well have been a reset considering 420 damage from that. Oh my God. And another Kano eye laser, I don't know. That's a full punish and match point for Sonic Fox and the hype at the end as well, the builder. One round away from Grand Finals, unless Ninja can find something right now. The anti-gravity to escape the corner. Can't say I'm surprised, but the mid hits again. Sonic Fox, hype activated. What's the play? Oh, that's so good for Ninja Killer. Get some damage, waste that hype mode. By the end of this combo and sequence, hype's completely gone, so it did absolutely nothing here. But we're still gonna confirm. Yeah. That's another confirm, side switch as well. And I said, Peacemaker's so powerful, but when you're point blank with Johnny Cage, doesn't necessarily have the buttons to get rid of him. And that's what Sonic Fox needs to enforce. Really good forward tech from Ninja Killer. Another anti-gravity, but ooh. as long as we escape the corner, that really is what Ninja Killer wants. Escape failed, Fox does the much smarter forward throw direction. Make it west, less likely to tech. I'm eyeing up the three bars, Mustard. I'm eyeing up the fatal blow. I'm eyeing up a possible grand finals appearance already. I don't know, Ninja, one hit at a time though. Poke here, poke there, chip damage. Not quite enough. Oh, the grab the tech, crucial tech. We're oh punished! My God, are you serious? Forward three, fatal blow, narrowly before a breaker was available and Sonic Fox with a well-earned pop off there. And his left, the stage before we could even get a good camera shot. Cameraman absolutely tried their best. You are the MVP of that. Sonic Fox, winners, side grand finals, looking almost completely unbeatable. Sonic Fox, very animated. For They're good gone. Reason. Where have they gone, Mustard? They have left this place. Sonic Fox now waiting grand finals on the winner's side. How many? I was saying before about how amazing. Right there, we see the poke, right? That down three from Peacemaker, he shoots the floor. Such a good poke. Decent advantage on hit, hard to deal with. I mean, you can't whiff punish a bullet. You've got to get close enough to hit him. Easier said than done. And Sonic Fox managed to do it time after time after time. And there it is, right at the very end. Disgusting. Perfect spacing. Absolutely disgusting stuff. But I mean, what a fitting end to that winner's finals.